So hey guys and welcome along to the office unboxing of this. This is the Viper RSV171 and doesn't it look a good helmet now? We've got it out of the box. One thing it does come in, just look at this bling bag it comes in. Nice little padded bling bag there. That's what your helmet comes in and it just says Bluetooth, wireless, intercom, communications all on that. But the thing we're interested in is this. Now, from the front, just get a look at the helmet there. And we're just going to turn it around so you can see a full 360 of the helmet before we start going into all the details of this. Now, our local Viper rep came into us and he dropped a load of these off with us. And he said to me, obviously, there have been reviews of it, but from a rider's point of view, rather than a salesman's point of view, can you do us a review? I said, yes, of course I will. Now, the couple of things that I did pick up on this, one, that front screen is very, very easy to open and obviously drop down. It does seal very, very good, which is the one thing you want. When it's absolutely teaming it down, what's the seal going to be like round the top of the helmet and round the bottom on your visor? Absolutely brilliant. That comes with a pin lock that with the helmet as well. So you haven't got to go out and buy a pin lock for it. It comes with a pin lock that you can fit into this. Very, very easy just to get in here. Now, little red button at the front. All you do is give it a push, lift it up, and there is your modular system. So that will lift your helmet up out of the way, like so. There we go. There's your intercom that comes around the front. That's the microphone. But the one thing I did like, just look at the quality of these securing pegs that just make sure that that helmet absolutely locks down and is not going to come up again. The other thing that I did like as well, and we're going to pop this back up again, is how easy it is to just drop that sun visor. You've got your bike gloves on, all you need to do, run it forward, down comes your sun visor, get your finger behind it, and just pop that back up. So if you've got a pair of gloves on, you're using it during the day or the night, early evening sun or early morning sun, that visor perfectly shielding your eyes. Absolutely brilliant design on that one as well. Checking out the padding on the inside of this. Now, that is one thing that I do like about a decent helmet. How good is the quality of the padding on this? And it's absolutely beautiful. I have had this on a couple of times. It's got your normal securing strap on it. No D-rings on this one. It's got the new system on that. But the padding on this is absolutely superb. So, thumbs up all round so far with this crash helmet. And that does lock in very, very good once again. Now... The one thing I'm going to tell you about is this. Now, this is your intercom. Now, with this helmet, it is slightly different from your standard bike helmet. So, normally you'd have a Senna or a built-in headset that comes with the bike. Um, or you'd go put in an aftermarket kit on it. Now, with your Senna's, you have to link each one up recurringly all the way through so if you're out with the ride group normally with a center kit you'd have to tap it a couple of times for each rider two tap three times for rider number three every system works differently with this one all you need to do is press and hold that button now believe it or not you're not going to pick this up on a microphone but it does say powering on then what you would do you press and hold for five seconds it would then start going into different flash modes. So then it starts flashing blue and red. That will start pairing it up. And then all you need to do is pair this to your mobile phone. And we're just going to turn this off the time being, save the battery. So you press and hold till you get yourself a little red light comes on. And it just says powering off. There we go. So that's just powered off. Now the volume control on this is on this rotary here. So volume up, volume down to make a call. That's all you need to do. Now, with this helmet, what you would do is link it direct to your mobile phone and then make yourself a WhatsApp group or a ride group on your WhatsApp. Connect your WhatsApp, call everybody on WhatsApp. You've got every single rider straight into your helmet. You can put your TomTom -tom into this. You can put your satellite navigation off your mobile phone into this. So it would all link via Bluetooth to everything else. But what you'd do is pair everything to your mobile phone. So brilliant idea. You can do your voice commands on it. It works on iOS as well. So Apple, it works on Android as well. Absolutely across the phone network on this headset. And the one thing that you want to be doing when you're a bike rider is not fiddling about, taking your eyes off the road, messing with buttons. It's all one button, 
up, down for the volume. Job done. Press the button, voice command, and you'd go, hey Google or hey Siri, take me to do, and it would bring your map straight up. All your phone calls all answered through that. It's an absolutely perfect system. Finally, someone has got a Bluetooth system that actually works. So that is the new range of Vipers. That is the RS1 V171. It is available through us as well. And obviously, we're going to get out and we're going to do a ride test of this helmet over the next couple of days and just see how good the intercom and the speakers are on this. But from the reviews that we've had so far, for just under £200, that is an absolute stonking helmet. When you consider that I use one of these, now this is the LS2. Now with this, same thing again, it's got pin lock, it's got the modular system. This has an inbuilt intercom that is built into the front of the helmet. But to fit their intercom system, you have to take all this padding out, you have to fit the, help, fit the intercom system yourself, and it's twice the amount of money. So, Vipers, big thumbs up. Just under £200 for that Viper helmet, well worth the money but obviously watch out for the review coming up in the next couple of days for the headset <music>